I uh, love so the topic you guys got today, and I saw saw that you guys just kicked it off. I mean, you know, your legs are pumping. You jumped into the deep end. You're hitting it on all oars. Hypergamy is fascinating conversation that is perennial because it is nature's way of perpetuating the species and ensuring survival of the fittest. You know, and it, it, there's so many misconceptions about this being such an enemy, and it's not. Um, but when you think about it, and you're on the lower end of the struggle, and you don't understand why your beta game's not working, or you know, you're struggling communicating with women, you need to understand what their their sexual strategy is. And by asking a woman, she won't be able to vocalize it to you. She can demonstrate it to you. And once you understand this, you guys will start to understand her subcommunications like a superpower. It's like they, you were just given x-ray vision when you understand that every woman has this inbuilt. However, she does have a logical mind to some extent. Emotions, feelings first, then emotions, or instincts, feelings, emotions, then logic and rationality. It is a choice, and they can make that choice, especially when they understand consequences and accountability which they, you know, the last 40 years, accountability has been taken away from them. Most unfortunately, I think that's probably the number one thing is when we start teaching women their own accountability for being women, it will definitely improve uh, the relationships between men and women. And you know, I, it's funny I, that I me definitely. Up. It's funny you bring that up because we were on um, a panel last night, Hudson and I was, and Joanna, she's in the chat because she hmm. loved our conversation last night. Um, she said something in there that was really profound about women accountability. And I really don't want to misquote her. And if she's still in the chat, I'd love for her to type it up. But she said, you know, from the beginning, women are not going to be accountable. Like she basically said, women will not be accountable. So guys need to stop thinking basically. Well, they, they will, but they have to understand not what naturally. the benefit is not for naturally. them. So that not naturally. Yeah. So that it benefits their if it benefits their solipsism, they'll be yeah. accountable. And and that's the beauty of hypergamy too for us because i'll just i mean i'll talk on this a little bit later but it forces us or at least when we learn this we assume our as men our own accountability to use this as a ally so to speak or leverage is we understand our burden of performance in this realm one of the reasons i said this is an ally because a woman has a monthly cycle as part of the reproductive system this is affected by instinct feelings and it changes so this is why a woman could want that provider and security. And she can even want that at certain times more than she does the alpha. But when the pool boy is cleaning the pool after she secured those resources and things look good, nature will take its course if the man is not fulfilling his burden of performance on time with the right tools. Now here's a question um, for Thor and for the rest of the panel. So let's say you're a guy and you hear about this. Oh, I want to get women. I need to level up. Or I want to save my girlfriend from leaving me. I need to level up. And they start doing all this thing, the leveling up, and the girl leaves. Or he doesn't get the girl that he likes. And they're like, well, hypergamy is bullshit. I did everything. I leveled up. Why did I fail? Women always have the trump card. Well, wouldn't you say that he was not operating in his frame? He was operating in her frame. He was yes, trying to yes. level up for her.